Hello everybody, it is Sinky here and welcome to a video where I just want to discuss what if Patrice Desilets never actually left Ubisoft. Just a little background to Patrice Desilets, he is kind of like the father of Assassin's Creed. He was the creative director on Assassin's Creed 1, 2 and the majority of Brotherhood until he left. But he left Ubisoft because he just didn't want to do it anymore. He wasn't happy working there anymore. He wanted to try different things. But he went to THQ and started working on a new project called uh, 1666 and that was kind of his baby. He wanted to work on that for a long time while he was even at Ubisoft and he wanted to make that game for a very long time. So when he managed to leave Ubisoft, um, he went to THQ and basically what happened was, was that THQ went bust and Ubisoft uh, bought them and took him over. But you see, this is where the problem starts, is where the kind of disagreement between um, Patrice Desley and Ubisoft is, is that uh, Patrice Desley kind of owns uh, 1666, but so did THQ. So when Ubisoft bought uh, THQ, they kind of took the rights to 1666, so they both own it, but they both want to use it. But you don't really know, like, there, there's a big lawsuit going on about it now. I don't know when the court uh, case is actually going to start, uh, but either one of them is going to come out with the, with the project for themselves. So we don't know what's going to happen, but all I know is that they both own 1666 as of now. After Ubisoft bought THQ, uh, Patrice Desley went to work for Ubisoft because, you know, seeing that they uh, bought THQ, they owned everything that uh, THQ owned, so basically he had to go back and work there, but he didn't work there for very long. He left uh, very quickly and started up his own independent uh, game design company known as Panache Digital Games. And this is where he's working on probably one of the most anticipated games that's coming out. Uh, he said it should be out hopefully within the next two years. It's kind of going to be like a chapter game, but we're going to get it at different times. It's kind of another histor history game. It's called Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey incredible looking game i cannot wait for it. it's all about the dawn of man up until now it's amazing like um it's just such an amazing game and we we kind of get to work on it but i'm gonna i'm gonna leave a link to so you can find out about the game in your own time so uh so i just kind of want to talk about what if he never actually left ubisoft um that's a pretty interesting topic because uh what we do know is that from an interview with loomer he did say that there's there's a loads of design choices with assassin's creed 3 he only played the first couple of hours of it because it kind of hurts him to play assassin's creed because he still loves that franchise to this day but it just hurts him to play it because as he says it, it's his baby so uh, we probably would have had a quite a different uh, assassin's creed game because alex hutchinson and we Patrice Desilets have different uh, styles of making games, I guess you could say. Uh, and another thing is that Assassin's Creed was only meant to be a trilogy. So basically what we would have had was Assassin's Creed 1, 2 and 3. Uh, and we, even though they started working in Brotherhood, uh, Assassin's Creed probably would have been finished by now. It, he, he probably would have moved on to 1666 if he still worked for Ubisoft by now. So basically what would happen is that the series would have ended in 2012 and then that's it. Assassin's Creed finish and then move on to um, uh, 1666 and we would have no Black Flag or uh, Unity. So it would be a very different uh, plays for the Assassin's Creed fans. And in an interview with Nolan North, uh, he basically said that Desmond wouldn't have died before, he wouldn't have died the way he did in Assassin's Creed 3. So that's another thing that Patrice would have done very differently. And the really interesting thing was that Desmond was gonna be able to do tr time travel, which uh, I have no idea how that would work. I guess once he got his skills and like, you know, parkour combat skills up, he would do the time travel thing. I don't know, it would just would have gotten really, really weird. Like even weirder than the Assassin's Creed lore already is. Uh, so these are just a couple of things that I found because Panache Digital Games and Patrice says late is talking about my opening, about what happened and different things like that. And also talking about his new game. Um, I'm very excited for his new game because uh, Patrice Desilet is one of my heroes of the industry. I look up to him so much because he's such a genius in the way he can make video games and he's able to make great action adventure games which is pretty much my favourite genre of games to play. Like if I look at my video game collection now, it's mainly open world action adventure games. So uh, yeah, so uh, if there's anything else that you might uh, notice that I didn't uh, talk about this video, please put it down below. If you give a like, that'd be amazing. Uh, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.